we need to discuss the single biggest reported testosterone increase out of every study so far. There is one practice that has been shown to 400% your testosterone. That means a four times increase. That means if you have a 500 nanograms of testosterone, this practice has been reported to increase it up to 2000. That is a steroid level increase. I'm surprised that this hasn't like taken over the internet with this study because some guys have spoke about this, but not, not enough. And what is it? It's semen retention. But not just semen retention, not just Nova. There's a very special way to do this that most people never even think of. That if you did it, and it's fucking hard, but if you could do it, you will get this like steroid level boost to your testosterone level. So first of all, semen retention and Nofap are two different things. I'm not sure if you actually know the difference. Nofap is not watching porn anymore, not jacking off, like, you know, not masturbating. Semen retention is specifically not ejaculating. So for example, I was on Nofap age 17 to 22, 23, 24, right? I was on Nofap, but I was still having sex. So I was on Nofap, I wasn't masturbating, I I wasn't watching porn, but I was still having sex, and with sex, I was ejaculating, right? Sex and ejaculation are usually mixed together, aren't they? So you have sex, you know, you build up a little bit, 10 minutes, whatever, you edge a little bit, go down, you know, change positions, okay? We all know that, and then you bust a nut, right? That's normal, right? You've always seen this in porn. If you're old enough, you've had sex yourself, you know how this works, right? There was a study that showed that if you do semen retention, but not just normal semen retention, if you do semen retention whilst having sex, your testosterone can go up by 400%. What this means, essentially, you have sex, you don't nut. You have sex, you don't ejaculate. This has been shown to have a 400% increase in testosterone. Why? Really think about this. Why? The researchers couldn't prove this because, you know, they, they want to talk about science-y shit. So they proved to us the science, right? They proved to us that, you know, with scientific terms, if a man and a woman have intercourse and the, and the man stops preemptively before ejaculation, then his testosterone, you know, they've done the science shit, right? But they weren't able to explain why it skyrocketed his testosterone. And I'm so glad that I've got my sort of understanding of psychology, evolution, and the concept of like sort of caveman days. You know, I'm, I'm very aligned with like evolutionary shit, right? The reason why you will get the big biggest improvement to your testosterone level, similar to taking steroids when you do semen retention whilst having sex. You have sex, but you don't nut and you stop before you ejaculate. It's because something in your primal brain realizes that you were so close to achieving the point of life and you stopped. Your primal caveman alpha male brain gets turned on and starts to think, fuck. Everything of our lives was to get us to this moment, to ejaculate, to reproduce. That's the whole point. That is the mission of a species. Why did we stop when we were literally right there? Maybe there's enemies. Maybe it's not safe. There's gotta be a reason why our brain's thinking this. So let's pump him full of testosterone. Let's make him four times as strong, four times as masculine. That is the single greatest reported increase of testosterone ever. And almost no one's talking about this.